as you know, the Bahamas is an archipelagic nation with most of its territory being seawater. The Bahamas is also blessed with a multitude of marine species that represent both commercial and biodiversity value to the Bahamas in particular and to the world's ocean in general. Commercial fishing, as you have already known, is a major component of our national economy. And my government is committed to the expansion and preservation of our marine resources in general, and in particular, to those species which are of economic and culinary importance to the Bahamas. At the same time, we are keenly aware that such expansion must be made in such a way that we do not do damage to the future success and growth of these resources. We are also committed to ensuring that these resources are effectively used for the national good. Today, we have come to highlight one such marine resource, that is the Nassau Grouper. roughly about 23 reported spawning aggregations and this contrasts very clearly from the rest of the Caribbean. In the Caribbean region some countries have seven concentrations, spawning concentrations, some others have 10, 15. In Florida for example we have not known concentrations because we are fished out. Uh, therefore the stock of national grouper in the Bahamas is perhaps the largest in the region but however uh, there is a very intense fishing going on on these stocks uh, at the present day. What we have here is, is the bottom profile, the bottom of the sea there, the surface, and this is the spawning aggregation here. Uh, it's about 12 meters in height and it represents roughly about a thousand fish congregated at this particular case in High Key in Andrews Island. August and up until March, so diving along these keys, like like my dad said earlier, on the cuts and in the bars, we find, you know, I find spawn crawfish the whole season straight through. You know, but but more so sometimes, sometimes and, and more so in, in August, and even more so in in, in March, we find I find a lot more spawn crawfish, you know, in March along this area. Well, I, I would I would suggest that they they cut out March. Take off one month for a start, and and you know, see how that works, and and maybe you know, do some more research, and maybe they might have to take off August or part of August, or say take off, open the season in the middle of August and close it in the middle of March, or, you know, something like that. I think you would find a lot of people would be in agreement with that, you know, taking off one month. You could split it between August and March, or you can take off all of March, you know. What about protecting the areas where you find the, the, the predominance of spawning females? Well, um, you know, normally the, the first part of the season from August, I'll say up until September, we normally stay away from this part of the area because, um, you know, we find that at that time of the year, we don't, we don't find much crawfish along this area. We, t we tend to fish more on the bank. But um, you know, but if you know, but but then you occasionally you have a few people that still fish this area, so you still, so they still get spawn crawfish even and even then. So if they could kind of like you know have this area off limits up 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 until say September, you know, or even October, and then 
and, and close close the, the bank side while this side is open and vice versa you know so, so that way you don't fish both sides at one time or fish this side when, when, when there's spawn crawfish in the area you know George your family's been here 200 years and pretty much I won't say you've been here most of that but you've been here some of that <laughs> when compared to when you were in your you were Anthony's age how do you feel what's happened to this ocean out here well um, I find that we have to keep going further and further and crawfish is getting um, you know, harder to find every, every season. Um, when I first started, which was like in the 70s, we used to run offshore in the runabout and you know, like 20 miles, 30 miles, and you could have gotten anywhere from 80 to 100 pounds of crawfish in any given day, you know. But now, you, you can, if you get a dozen in that area in a day, you're doing real good. And that even even after it's closed like four months, you have trouble to, to you know get twenty or thirty pound in those areas. We're trying to attach a, a time depth recorder with a VHF transmitter tag um, onto the whale with a, a suction cup device. The tag itself, as I said, records how deep the whale dives, how long it dives for, how fast it swims, the light intensity, the temperature. And then the transmitter is for when the, the tag releases from the whale, floats to the surface, emits a signal, and then we search for the tag and hopefully retrieve it and download the information. A typical day, on a real nice day, you know, we'll start out, find some uh, coastal bottlenose dolphins on our way out from shore, and every single animal in, in the group will be known individual. So we've recited them, some of them hundreds of times over the years. And then we come out offshore and we find a group of dense-beaked whales and say five, seven animals. And every single look, every single one of those animals will be individuals that we've photographed in the past. Then we come across a group of sperm whales and same thing. Young Nassau groupers, uh, Coney, Graysby, um, they use the uh, mangroves in the early part of their life history as very small uh, juveniles, like uh, about uh, three to four inches in length. As they get bigger and they need um, bigger prey, they'll move offshore to the reefs. Uh, but the mangrove roots, uh, the seagrasses provide a, a good um, forage base where they can find small crabs and shrimp to eat on and it provides a good hiding place for them. The major predator in here is a barracuda. You can see a lot of big barracuda uh, in the mangrove uh, areas, but a lot of fish come in here and use the uh, mangroves as a refuge and, and feeding site.